Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about the Skilled Immigration Act in Germany and the changes which are made to this act and which are in force since 1st of March 2020. These changes in the Skilled Immigration Act expands the possibilities for qualified professionals to come to Germany. Now it has become even easier for skilled workers with vocational non-academic training from non-EU countries to migrate to Germany in order to work. The current condition for qualified professionals with university degree will remain in place. However, there are some relaxations. Now, what are these relaxations and to which group of people or which categories these relaxations are provided? Let's go through this. The first category is a group of people who have foreign education degree and they are currently living outside EU. The second group of people is non-EU person with a foreign vocational training qualification. So that is the difference from the first group that the first group has a university degree and the second group is the one that have vocational training qualification but no university degree. The third group is foreign students to seek voc vocational training from Germany currently living outside EU. Earlier, it was only possible for the students to come to Germany to seek a study place. Now it's also possible for students to come to Germany to seek vocational training. The fourth group of people is the foreign students who are already living in Germany. So the first three group of people are those who are currently not living in Germany. And the fourth group is the one uh, foreign students which are currently living in Germany. Now before we go to these categories, let's go through a general pros procedure and some general information that is very important to understand and know. To start with the first step, it, the both groups, the one having vocational training and the second um, those who have university degree both have to apply for the recognition of their foreign qualification from relevant German authorities. Uh, now this is a very lengthy process. Uh, I will not go into the details of how this recognition process work, but I will make another video to uh, make it uh, simple for you how you can apply for recognition and what are the documents, what is the procedure. There is one exception to this and these are the people who are IT specialists, they do not need to apply for the recognition of their foreign qualification. Now, another important thing to understand here is that no priority check by the Federal Employment Agency. Now, what does this mean? This means that there will be no check as to whether an applicant from Germany or EU is available for a specific job. Earlier, the companies had to give an explanation to the Federal Employment Agency when hiring the non-EU nationals in Germany. In the new version of this act, the Federal Employment Agency will still verify the employment conditions, but there will be no priority check. Now, another important thing you need to understand is that academic degree holders can also work in the jobs that do not require an education degree. This means that they can work in other occupations which are related to their qualification and which normally require a vocational non-academic qualification. They are holding an academic degree, but they can work in another job that require a vocational or non-academic qualification. This excludes, however, auxiliary and semi-skilled occupations the occupation must always require a qualification, which is the vocational qualification in this case. Now let's go through the job search for professionals with voc vocational training qualification and education degree. So there are mainly changes regarding the professionals with vocational training qualification. Therefore, uh, in the next section of this slide, all the information will be relevant to those 
who have vocational training qualification. There is only one point related to education uh, degree holders and that will be at the end of this slide. So first start with professionals with vocational training qualifications. Now, a person with a vocational training qualification can come to Germany to find a job. Earlier, it was only possible for the uh, people who are having a university degree. Now, upon fulfilling certain requirements, residence permit of six months is issued. Same like those who were having education degree, they were given also a six months residence permit to search for a job. Now the people with vocational training qualification can also come for a six month period and search for a job. Now, what are the conditions or requirements that they have to fulfill? The first is that foreign qualification is recognized by the relevant authority in Germany. So you have applied for the recognition of your foreign qualification and the authority in Germany has recognized your foreign qualification. It can be a case that uh, your foreign qualification is not recognized. This will come uh, in the next slide. But here we assume that your foreign qualification or your foreign vocational training qualification is recognized by relevant German authority. Now you have to prove sufficient financial resources to support for the duration of your stay. Now, if you are staying here for six months, you must have um, the financial resources so that uh, you can survive. And how is it possible to come here in Germany for finding a job without German language skills? Same is the case. B1 level of German language is required. So you have to learn B1 level of German language in your home country before you apply for a visa. Now, once you are given a visa and you are in Germany, an employment of up to 10 hours per week is possible during the, the six months period that you will be given. Now, this is the last point. I have uh, highlighted it because it is related to those uh, which uh, are holding an education degree and the professionals with an academic degree can also work on trial basis, um, which was earlier not the case. Now, in this slide, which is related to training and skill development for professionals with vocational training qualification, which means that they have applied for um, the recognition of their professional qualification, but this is not recognized uh, as equivalent with the German qualification. Therefore, these professionals can come to Germany in order to train themselves and in order, in order to develop their skills so that their uh, vocational training qualification becomes equivalent with the German um, vocational training qualification. So let's see what it is. A person with a vocational training qualification can come to Germany for training and skill development. And the requirements for this are uh, that a person has applied for the recognition of um, vocational training qualification, but it is not considered um, equivalent or it does not fully meet the requirements of German qualification. Again, you have uh, to have sufficient financial resources to uh, support yourself during your stay in Germany. And here you can come to Germany or you can apply for a visa under this category if you have A2 level of German. Now, if you fulfill these requirements, then you will be given a residence permit of 18, 18 months. And if you come to Germany on with 18 months of residence permit and you figure out that uh, you haven't completed all your trainings or the uh, skills uh, that are required for a German qualification, then it is possible to get the, an extension of up to two years in the residence permit. Now, once you have com either completed your um, uh, qualification or you have made your qualification 
equivalent with the German qualification or this period of uh, 18th month uh, plus two years has expired, which means three and a half year, then you can um, be issued a residence permit for training purpose or work purpose or study purpose. Now, there are also some changes in the permanent settlement for qualified professionals. Let's see what are they. The earlier condition was uh, that the foreign qualified professional can receive the permanent settlement after five years. Now it has been reduced to four years. So there is a reduction of one year in getting the permanent settlement for qualified professionals. Now, it is also possible for students or trainees to seek training place in Germany. As I mentioned earlier, this is the third group of people who is given the relaxation. And what does it mean and what are these requirements? Let's go through these. Foreign students interested in receiving vocational training can come to Germany to find a training place. So they do not have uh, to be uh, uh, professional already, but they have to fulfill certain requirements so that they can apply for a visa under this category that they come to Germany and receive the vocational training in Germany. Now, what are the requirements for this? That you must have school leaving certificate. School leaving certificate means the certificate that entitles you to get into a university. Now this school leaving certificate will be different for almost every country. It can be higher secondary school certificate. It can be senior school certificate. It can be any other 12th grade certificate. Uh, I mean, in each countries, um, each country there is a different name for this, but the headline heading is that the school leaving certificate and this is the certificate after completing which you can start university degree in your home country. Now for this uh, category, you have to have B2 level of German language, uh, which is quite high. And this you have to learn before you apply for visa. You must have sufficient financial resources. And there is an age limit of 25 years. You must be less than equal to 25 years so that you can apply for visa under this category. So there is, this is the last group of people, um, the foreign students who are already living in Germany. The first three groups were those who were not living in Germany. They, were, they can apply for um, visa under respective uh, category. But let's see that those students who are currently living in Germany, what are the relaxations for these uh, students? Now, foreign students under certain preconditions can accept a job offer and switch to a residence permit to work in qualified professional. They can do it during studying or doing vocational training. Earlier, it was possible for the students to complete their studies and then switch to another residence permit through which they can work uh, in the qualified profession. Now, if during studies, they find some job offer, they, it's possible for them to switch to residence permit to work in qualified profession. There is, are also uh, some changes to the permanent settlement, uh, which are that foreigners who have successfully completed a vocational training course in Germany are eligible to receive permanent settlement permit after two years. This is the same period which is um, uh, which was earlier applied for the graduates, university graduates. Now the people who have completed uh, vocational training in Germany are also eligible to get uh, permanent settlement after two years. Now I hope this uh, video will help you in figuring out um, what category you belong to and what are the requirements you have to fulfill. Uh, I will make another video about the recognition process uh, because that is valid for all the first uh, two 
uh, categories um, that will help you to get your documents recognized so that the first step is um, done. Uh, I wish you all the best for your application and thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates on the next videos. Thank you.